the Inter-American Development Bank, in collaboration with the University of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, has developed a digital tool that allows for now casting the international tourism demand in real time. The tool has been developed considering the implications of COVID-19 pandemic. The estimation relies on the series of tourists that should have travelled if the pandemic never occurred. This series works as a basis for further adjustments in terms of the daily evolution of the pandemics at the destination, but also at the main origin market, change in confidence when travelling and income changes. The platform updates the pandemic's dynamics of the destination every day, as well as of the top 10 main origin markets. It employs an epidemiological model so that it can estimate the expected evolution of the number of infected people. A key parameter is beta. The beta is related with the probability that an infected person can spread the disease to a susceptible person within a day. Such probability is updated automatically every day with the model. The probability varies depending on the mitigation measures taken vaccination, seasonality or new virus strains. The figure shows the case of the United Kingdom. It shows that with the advent of the pandemics, when measures were not taken, such probability was large. However, it decreases after the lockdown and increases again after vacational periods. The pandemic's dynamics are heterogeneous amongst countries. The platform allows monitoring the expected incident rate for the next months. It shows the markets that will recover earlier so that marketing policies can be allocated in advance. The figure shows that the United States is the country with the highest incident rate. Moreover, it is the country that will last longer to recover. The platform allows us to monitor the incident rate, to compare the situation of the main markets and to make better informed decisions in real time. The platform takes into account the evolution of confidence in travelling over time. However, such evolution varies depending on the evolution of the pandemic, but also on the heterogeneous responses of the different pairs of origin destination. For instance, one key determinant of such heterogeneity is given by the transportation modes employed. Those destinations where the land transportation is relevant have shown higher confidence in travelling. The pandemic has caused relevant shocks to economic activity and employment. It has caused a marked drop of income and a partial recovery. Such income variations imply tourism demand shifts which affect the willingness to pay for travel. They represent the last effect that we consider in the now casting model. The platform has preloaded scenarios. For instance, the epidemic recovery dates are given. They are based on the epidemiological models, but the platform allows the user to change such dates so that alternative scenarios can be simulated. The user can define closure dates or reopening dates for each single pair of origin destination. The user can also simulate different degrees of confidence as well as different income changes. The platform calculates the macroeconomic impacts of the expected number of international tourists. It calculates the expected expenditure as well as its economic impact in terms of GDP and employment. The platform is available on the IADB website at the Sustainable Tourism section. The user can employ any of the platforms located there. They correspond to 19 countries from Latin America and the Caribbean.